In this module, we're going to be talking about why be involved in the stock market. Now, there's two reasons to be involved in the stock market. Reason number one is going to be to trade slash invest uh, your money to generate income. Number two is going to be invest or trade other people's money to generate income. Now, in both situations, your main objective is to generate capital, to make money for yourself, right? So you can go about this in two ways, by trading your capital or trading somebody else's capital. Now, a lot of people trade their own capital and they do that to either supplement their main income with a side income or they just trade full time and that's their only income. Their main income is from trading. Now, I believe that everybody should be invested in stocks at one point or another like everybody at one point has to be invested in stocks you know when you're going to be saving up your retirement funds your money is going to be in stocks in one way or another now throughout my years and throughout my careers i've worked at brokerage houses i've seen a lot of accounts people with you know half million dollar accounts that's for retirement going from half a million to zero because they selected really bad stocks uh, all high risk, all same industry, gold miners or penny stocks. But I've seen other people growing, going from half a million to over a million. So you can very easily, very easily. And, you know, it, it, when you're saving up your money for retirement, that's done across decades, you know, 20, 30 years. When you're looking at s a, such a big period, it's very easy to double your 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 cash. It's very easy by selecting good stocks. Now, it's also very easy to lose most of your, your cash if you select really bad securities. So for me, everybody's supposed to learn about trading and about investing, because if you're willing to work 20, 30 years of your life to have X amount of capital that you can retire with, well, why not spend six months or a year learning how to invest and double that amount of capital? Why not double it by spending a few months to a year learning uh, when it takes you 20 or 30 years to make it, right? So, it, and not risk losing it, right? So it makes no sense uh, for somebody not to get educated about investing because everybody has to invest at one point or another. Now, this is one way uh, that you can go about it, investing your own capital. Now, the other way is finding uh, other people that you can invest their capital or trade their capital. Now, to do that, first you got to be good, okay? So, example, there's a lot of companies that fund the traders. Now, to get into a company like that, you got to prove that you're good. So, for when I hire a trader, I want to see their track record. I want to see if they are performing well, if they are making cash. So, start off trading your account, and if you're performing good, if you have, you know, a year of track record to show, or even, you know, eight months of, you know, consistent profitability, you can see a company, show them your track record, and they can fund you. They'll give you a funded account. Then you can trade with way bigger amounts of money uh, and keep a percentage of those re returns. So that's a very good situation to be in because you have no risk in terms of capital and you have very, very high rewards if you're performing good. So these are the two ways that you can make money in trading. You got to start off by trading your account, proving that you're good. And then you can move on to even trading other people's uh, accounts. And regardless of what you want to do and what's your end goal, you have to learn to trade and invest because it is something that is super important. It will make a difference for you. Uh, and, you know, you are going to have to do it at one, one day or another or another.